guys, this is Joshua from Tickniff.com and this is my impressions of the RX100 Mark IV. So the RX100 Mark IV has been released for almost a year and it is also rated as the best pocket camera. The design of the RX100 Mark IV looks pretty identical to all the previous models and also the upcoming RX100 Mark V with just a slight changes. On the left side of the camera is a pop-up EVF and also there's an adjustable pop-up flash built right on top of the camera. It has a 3 inch tiltable screen where you could tilt it all the way up or 45 degree down. The ring at the front is slightly larger and you could customize it to stuff like aperture, focusing, shutter speed or so on. The build quality feels great but it is somehow to the slippery side. Although there's a grid just right beside the movie recording button but it is not bulky enough to have a great grid. The Mark IV is rocking a stack 1 inch 21 megapixel CMOS sensor with a relatively fast 24 to 70 zoom lens up to f1.8 aperture. The sensor makes the camera perform much faster than the previous generation. The autofocus on photo mode is pretty fast and you could take up to 32,000 of a second. The Mark IV can support up to 4K resolution video recording and also up to 1000 frames per second slow mo video. But you can only get all these features if you get the right memory card. As we all know that the image quality from Sony is always top of the line compared to their competitor. The image you could get out of this pocket camera is always well toned and crisp even in auto mode. I will link some of the photo samples in the description so you guys could see the full resolution of the photos. As for video recording, the autofocus is quite slow and sometimes I just couldn't get it focused to the subject I want due to the lack of touchscreen. The Mark IV also can shoot with their s lock 2 picture profile like we get in some of their high-end cameras, which means you could get more control of the color and dynamics range when it comes to the editing. And at last, the manual. It isn't that much of a user-friendly experience for me. I had a pretty rough time trying to find the setting I wanted. So for someone that is new to a Sony device, there's definitely a huge learning curve before you get used to it. So overall, this is still an awesome camera that shoots great quality image that also can be fit inside your pocket. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.